Hello. How you doing? Tell me if you can hear me right loud and clear. Right check. Hi, Lenny. Hi, hi, Koda. Hi, Simeon. Welcome. You are having a nice first day. Let me know if you could hear me all good. Oh, it's good to be back on stream. It's been a, a, one of those weeks. It's good. So how are you all doing in the chat? Can you hear me? Anyone? Okay, good, 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 good. Good, good to know that. Loud and clear. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, so let's, of course, as usual, um, you all know the agendas. Okay, good, good. Uh, first of all, you go retweet the announcement tweets. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna be, I haven't tested out this package. Okay, I've tested it out, I've, but I've, I've not abstracted it out from the Mellow View project. So you're gonna see my thought process and how I um, do that. So it's gonna be fun. So, but first let's go to retreat so we get more people in here. And um, so these are tasks to, this, we're gonna start off really quickly. So there's this tweet I saw, I'm just gonna open it up. And um, it's, I don't, I've just sent this form method attributes. Form method attributes. I haven't seen it before, but I saw it on Twitter and I was like, oh, this could be fun. Wait, it's not an MDN? That's interesting. Oh, it's not an MDN. Wait, I thought I was saying. Where's Oh, on a button. Okay. So let's see. Um form method. Oh. Oh, so if the button is a submit button, it's this it's inside a with the form. I doesn't have type button. These attributes with validation method used to submit the form. Possibly value. Possible values are posts. Get. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. So according to MDM, the possible values are post and get, but according to this tweet, you could do delete patch and post. Yeah, so. Hmm. Oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I don't think I want to try it anymore because the possible value is going to be get and post. It's kind of misleading, this one. I don't know. So this is JX, I don't know. But uh, I was actually getting to get excited because in sales, when you have like your ECS server template, um, the only method to put it by the form, of course, is the get and post. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Probably this would be like a way, it's an escape patch to let the form submit to like the verb delete patch, but it's sort of misleading, I guess. Interesting. But anyways, that goes my test. I won't, I can't test Hey, welcome everyone. Um, Welcome everybody. We are seven folks in here that we have in here. So we're just checking out a thing I thought I was going to test out, but I'm not sure I want to do that anymore. So let's just check that off. So let's talk about this tweet. What tweet is this? Okay. Yeah, I just, so we're going to start off really light with today. Oh, yes, yes. Just tweet by Danny Thompson. Did you all see it? Let me put, give it to you all in there. So it's, you know, when you get started with, most of the tutorials out there when you get started with uh, Node is the main stack, which is like MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. I I think most people get to like, get used to like using MongoDB because it just feels so like 
easy, right? Because you're using the the Mongoose client, for example, and all that. But according to this Stack Overflow survey, Postgres has like the highest usage. That's interesting. MongoDB is way over here with 25. That even SQLite trumps MongoDB. That's really interesting. So when I saw it, I was like, ha. Huh. So if you've always, if you if you got started with Node using MongoDB, let me know in the chat. But this is interesting because for me, I've always been like, I've always loved a SQL database. Like I like SQL a lot. So probably I think I got started with MySQL. But right now I'm a big fan of Postgres. So everything I build is Postgres. I'm thinking of writing like a SQLite adapter so I could play around with using SQLite for like um not very intensive applications or even swap Postgres for SQLite in in sales guys of course. It's, it's an idea I'm actually playing around with. But seeing this, I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And one thing I like about sales and waterline is they just abstract everything. So we, we either you're working with Postgres, MySQL, SQL, like MongoDB, the ORM is going to be the the same. The, the the way you access your database is going to be the same, which makes it really really easy to transition. So you don't you, you don't need to go get like a PG client or whatever. You just have waterline, superb. You can you could just swap it so easy. Yes. Yeah, it's it's really good. So then it goes started with SQLite and, and I love it. Like I, I like SQL and it's one trap you fall into if you got started with like maybe back end of Java development with JavaScript. The tutorials out there will just tell you get the non stack or the what mean stack and just push MongoDB to you. But it's a, it, it, most Applications that are out there don't use MongoDB, right? They are MySQL. I think Facebook uses MySQL. They had to make like what, like something higher on top of it, like an abstraction on top of MySQL and all that. But at the end of the day, just learn a SQL database, and you don't even need to know like a lot of the SQL databases. You probably just need to grasp the concept, right? Know that okay, you're going to write schemas. So that's that. I think that's the one of the most interesting things about SQL database is that you're going to write schema, which is fun, right? And most often that knows you're going to use an OLM or, yes, you're going to use an OLM or an ODM to do that. So please let's go. And I've always recommended uh, my, what's it? A support for developers by Aaron, this course. Made it again, it will really, really help you in your MySQL speak. So you all go, go get it. What happened? That's interesting. So I, I so I blocked that for a little bit. Uh, what happened? Okay, so I, I am on eCamp and I probably hit a button I should have hit so sorry about that but that's the, the course and I actually agree with Lenny um on the on the beat to get you all started or newbies to do stuff easily we, we sort of make things too simplistic just you know use the mongo db but learn it okay learn it really well take that course it's really really good I've I've taken it like a bit of it all right so moving on We've talked about our tweets, and we are going to talk a little bit about all this before we get into working through sales mail. So if you if you've been following me on Twitter, you know I've all been hyped about um, the Livewire's new packages, especially Livewire. So Livewire, I think it's now going to be like a first party way to build apps. In Laravel, which is really cool. Shout out to Caleb Pozio. I'm a big fan of Caleb and everything is done. So this is Livewire. So they announced V3, which is amazing. A lot of cool, cool stuff in there. Right. And so it, the idea is to build interactive applications without even using Java, like you having to write JavaScript as a PHP developer. You write everything in PHP and Livewire know how to make it all interactive which is really, really good. I kind of, like, I really, really like 
So I watched the talk, the demo talk. You all should go watch it. <laughs> yes, this is Caleb. Of course, you love life wire. Of course, you think it's good. Uh, so the, the so it's just uh, telling you whether it's still in beta. This is really cool. So it, it comes with a lot of stuff. But what is really interesting to me, right? Which I told about is vote. Laravel's vote. Hey, wait, wait. I think it's here. Yeah, vote. So vote because Live Oil is mostly class based. If you like classes and stuff, um, if we look at uh, let's look at the component right now, you can see it's a class, right? But I don't really like classes and OOP that much. I find over the years I've really gravitated towards functional programming. So when I saw this, I say, "Ha!" Huh. I mind you, I've been thinking about doing something similar for for sales for a long time. Like not really a long time, maybe months now. Just be thinking about the idea. So when I saw this, it was like interesting. So now this is like a blade. So the template engine for Laravel is called Blade. So here, so imagine this is like view script tag, where you you know. So let's let's do a side by side comparison. And which is why I say this really looks like view single file components with composition API. So if we do get it started, we'll go to components. Uh, we are components. Okay. Wait, I can judge you. Okay, yes. Uh, I really wanted something really simple. Let's see, quick start. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Oh. Wait, I'll I'll find the right page, I promise. Mm. Something syntax probably. Maybe. Why gotta find something? Our introduction is it? Oh. Okay. No. I'm looking for yes. This. Sorry about that. So you look at this. This maps really well to this part. And this bit, of course, I'm not sure they do support CSS like view, but it maps well to this. And this was really interesting when I found out that, whoa. So what they're doing is like the whole live wire thing, they're going to expose for functional APIs. That's a function, right? So see like state, pass in the states, just like we do ref here. So this, this, this bit of magic maps pretty much to this. So they're using state instead of ref. And your increments, okay, we don't have any increments. Okay, just, they, uh, no. yes, more. This is the increments, uh, this is their increments. Interesting. And I was really, really blown away because um, I like this. This is something I've been thinking about. It's part of a secret project I'm working on. And saying this just validates the idea that functional programming is really, really good and the ability to have this cool location. Because before in LiveWire, you have you know a separate class file, you have the your view part, there are just so many moving parts. But view single file component, I'm pretty sure influenced this a great deal. What do you think, guys? Hi, Anil. Pocket base is actual fire. Pocket page. I haven't checked it out, but probably gonna welcome on you. Welcome on you. Yeah, so this is really good, and it's what got me really, really excited. And I'm really looking forward to like how this project really grows. And they have so live why I have components already. So just see this is view component, right? You can see this, it's looking like so this is like a bind, like a props, right? Props. Find giving it the data. It's, it's just amazing stuff. I, I really, really like it. And the next thing is um Lavelle's folio, which is really good too. And it's also something I've been thinking of uh, be thinking about. You know, if you're used to Next.js and Nox, that um file-based routing, do they have a docs page already? No, they don't. So they have um a repo, which is also fine. So with Lavelle's folio, any you could say um, whatever blade files and pages should be made to be a route. And I believe this is actually very useful for like simple applications and maybe like a blog, 
I don't like file-based routing for complex applications because, you know, those syntax, you know, the ID and the stuff, I, I don't really like it. I just prefer like a raps.js. So imagine we have something like this in like maybe sales, but like, um, like simple apps that just, that probably don't have a lot of business logic in it. This is cool. So this is what they, they're doing with the um, Firebase Folio. And I really, really like it too. I, I really like it. And you could see this whole functional syntax coming up again here, right? So you, you could have your scripts at the top. So everything, remember in Laravel, right, it's PHP. So everything is being, so it's server side rendered by default. So all this is going to run and just send back HTML to the client. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Again, I've been thinking about something like this for a while for sales, which I am really looking, looking forward to. Yeah, I think so. Like a good deal. Yeah, so um, for anyone that's done a little bit of Laravel or a great deal of Laravel, you'll find that they usually prefer using Vue because Vue is really, really quite easy. I think um, Taylor made the tweets about it some years ago. So it's sort of like, you find more Laravel developers using Vue than any other UI framework or library. Oh yes, definitely. Um, it's, it's all, it, they're all part of the secret project. So that I can't wait to actually talk about this. So when I have a POC or like a proof of concept working, because it's like I said, it's part of it. It's probably going to be something like maybe sales 2.0 or so, because it's going to be a generation of, um, the shipwright for our new bundler and all that, which is going to um, herald the more modern, robust sales. It, it's exciting. I I really think that once this is done, I'm probably going to move some project to use this other than, because with this kind of setup with Folio and um, Vault, for example, in Laravel, for your pages that did SEO, you have that by default because it's all going to be HTML at the end of the day, on like view single page application and all that stuff. Hi, Lopez, man, welcome. So I'm really excited. We'll probably have to do like a template for it when it comes out, but it's, it's really, really good stuff. So I'm really looking forward to all that. So yeah, so that's Laravel Folio and Laravel's votes. Um, the talks are available online. Uh, let's see, Laravel US 2023. Oh, okay, yes, so let's see. Oh, yeah, there's some new work. Oh, good, yes. This one, so if you don't understand how the bug JavaScript stack work, you should really watch this one. I really loved it. It was actually what influenced the idea for me to like solve a, to add a new feature that I really wanted to add for a while. So the talk is great. I'm really gonna go watch all this stuff. Uh, look, you can watch the one on Livewire. Uh, da, 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 da. so let's look for this one. I don't want to play anything. The videos and oh, so wow, they have actually published everything. Published it. Also, see this talk by Aaron Francis. I love it so much. It's going to inspire you a great deal. Go we'll watch it, but after this stream, of course, so don't be distracted. So, oh, I have a lot to watch here after this stream. Just going to binge on all of this. Uh, you could check out. Um, what the one or even there's so much great stuff here. So you can see I've watched this too. So you, yes, check out the live, live wire talk by Caleb, awesome guy, and also Taylor's introduction to full folio and vote. Amazing stuff. Go check it out, y'all. Mm. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's that's that for that. Uh, we could check this out. Okay, and yes, sales mail. So, uh, one thing I like about something like Lav um, like Laravel is, you know, each time I do the tweets and I be like, um, PHP developer, I use Laravel, and JavaScript developer, I use, you know, they just call these plain things they use. Most people think I don't know or I'm downplaying the fact that. Laravel have a lot of dependencies. Of course, it has a lot of, of, of dependencies. Like it depends on Symfony, a ton of packages. But the mindset is 
we don't really have that robust ecosystem for full stack development on the web. And it's uh, it's something that baffles me because we have all the advantages. We've we started off working on the front end with JavaScript. Now we can do back end too. But look at look at Laravel, you know, doing crazy stuff. And their PHP, they can't touch the front end. They're still in JavaScript what are they, but they are innovating and all that stuff. And things like mail and all these things, these table stakes that your app would need, you find you always have to do it yourself. Not anymore with the broad JavaScript stack. So I've been working on the, the Mellow View template, like you know. And when I was doing it, I was like, yo, influenced by this Laravel spark, because like a ton of my influence comes from the Laravel world. No shocker, I love Laravel. And so they have a mail package. So this I was so this has been on my mind for a while now that I haven't had the time to implement it. And if you look at how easy the mail package is, right? So they have this config call mail, which you could, you could specify like you know the mailer. So we have mail gun, we have postmark, you know, a, a ton of um even SMTP, right? So it just makes mailing easy. I'm like, huh, let me make mail easy for everyone so instead of it to just be just for like the bone java for stack anyone that's using sales i've i've actually done such such a package before with sales who pay stack and also sales who wish which is making um if you go to dot.salescast.com which is making OAuth a breeze um i haven't updated the docs but we've also support Google, which is going to be used by the point of stack. So that sort of convenience is what makes a full stack um, DX really great. All right. So uh, we have that today in Mellow. So if you go to Mellow View, and let me show you how it works now. So the hook is still in the Born JavaScript stack. We're going to publish it today on stream so that everyone can use it. All right. So um, if we go to config and we look at mail, what is mail? I have a this bunch of it. Uh, so trying to make it very easy for you to understand what's going on. So the mail config in sales, if you config slash mail.js, you could specify the mailer you want to use. So why I like this sort of thing is that you could say for development, I want to use this maybe like a log mailer for staging, I want to use like SMTP. For production, I want to use like SendGrid because just salescast.com use SendGrid. So I'm going to actually port the my own mailing system to this in a bit after we've published it. So you could say by default, so by default, we're going to check your environment or we're going to fall back to SMTP. I'm going to show you how that works in a bit. So you could now have like an object of mailers, right? So the the, the mailer have like, you know, the keys, the mailer, which is the SMTP, I think it's a simple mail transfer protocol. So this is like very old and stable, very boring, you know. And the transport just SMTP. I don't have, I haven't really had much use of this transport, so I'm thinking of keeping it or not. It seems sort of like a repetition between this and this, but I don't know. It's just probably see if I don't take it away. Then, you know, for SMTP, we have the host, we have the port, and we have the encryption, username, and password. Then I also have a log transport or mailer, which is just going to log to your console. So for convenience, if you don't want to set up anything, just change this to log. All right, change it to log here, or even in your environment if you're using ENV. Cool stuff. Then you also have like a global from, so that um, you don't always have to pass in the from field. Anytime. So this is really cool since we're looking for an environment. So in your different environments, you could just make these an environment available and just change them dynamically. Brilliant stuff. All right. So this is the mail config, but let's look at the hook. So sales hook is a way to augment sales to like do stuff. So I have a mail hook here. Let's look at what it's doing. Um, so it's for this hook, it doesn't really do much, right? Um, it's just makes so right now it doesn't do much, but we're going to augment it to do a great deal. The master of ceremony 
of this hook that really does a lot of stuff is the helper. So the hook, once we abstract it, is going to be the one to expose this send helper. And this, this does a lot. So this is going to be like the entry point, your API. So you can see we have like a mailer and um, I'm here, I'm using default store. So you just pick the default mailer so you don't even have to pass in a mailer. So the cool thing is that if you're going to use it in your action, you can actually say, okay, for this action, you send grid to send the email. For this one, use maybe postmark to send the email. It's just very, very convenient. And we have a template which would be like, you know, this is your EGS template that we're going to compile to HTML and send it over. Then if you have template data as well, you can pass that in. And we're defaulting it to an empty object. So the tool field, okay, you can pass in the tool field. This must make sure it's an email, the tool name, the subject. Okay, so we are defaulting it. So the subject of the email will default it to you know, force. And remember, because we're using IOTTC, once, once we give an example, we don't need to specify the type anymore because it's going to be inferred. All right, so we're going to do this. So I am using the from, see, that global from we specified in our mail config is there. Then the layout. Right, so this is if you need it, if you have a layout. So we have a default email layout right now. And we have like a custom validation thing going on. So if it's not if it's not equal to false, or it's not the type of layout string, then we're going to complain. So this one I haven't implemented this much, but it's going to be cool for if you want to wait for acknowledgement by your mail provider before you move forward, or you just want to ignore and just you know make it async. Then you could also specify text in here. Yeah, and I don't need this because I said I want to do the example. We don't need to have the type. Then this is the, the function. So here I'm just doing some sanity check to make sure that it starts with email, the, the templates, the email.ejs file you have. So if it doesn't start, we're going to warn you, but we're still going to proceed. But just make sure that everything starts with that. And um, if you if you're going to um, give a path to the email and you specify views or 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 something else, all right, we don't want you to have that in there. We just need you to um, specify the path relative to the views, okay? And what do we have here? Okay, good. So if there's layout, if there's not, we're just going to say it's false. And yeah, so this is where we render the view because sales give us the render view, which which is like is going to use EGS to compile the view to give us an HTML. And then this is the thing. So if the mailer is logged, we're just going to log everything to the console. Okay, this is very convenient if you don't want to set up anything. If it's SMTP, we're going to get the node mailer. So if you're going to use SMTP, we're going to expect the user land to install node mailer by themselves. Okay. Because that's what we use in order to hold. And I wrote this little function that if you give it the package name, is going to try to get it or to show an error, which will tell you to like install it, which is very, very convenient for DX. And here we're doing the transporter things. And we're sending the mail here. And that's basically it. So this is going to be augmented to support SendGrid, which will be, so SendGrid lets you send via SMTP2. I think that's why the transport really makes sense because you could specify send grid and then you could say, okay, the transport could be SMTP or the transport could be send grid itself, which is you're going to use the send grid API. That is really good. So let me show you how this will work today. Uh, not really. Um, so it's, it's using node mailer under the hood for like things. So anything. Any service that supports SMTP, you can actually use it with Node Mailer, right? So this package is going to use Node Mailer under the hood to do that. So um, let me check the local the JS. Okay. Gonna remove this in a bit to make sure that I don't expose any secrets. Okay, good. Yeah, this is good. 
So if we look at the SMTP, so now I'm using the Node Mailer app in localhost. So the way this sales hook mail is going to work is that if in your local.js, because this local.js file is not committed to to GitHub, it's going to be ignoring the .env file. I can just specify an SMTP key with the host, the port, the username, and the password, and I can use this. And also in combination with the mail here, which we have this transport to be SMTP. All right. So if we run, let's let's run this. And um, I'm going to do sales l dash dash drop. Just going to drop the user so that it lets me to sign up. And I'm going to have node mailer also open up. So you can see I've had 23 emails so far because I've just been testing the heck out of this. And notice this was the last email, right? One twenty. To 2 p.m. because it's going to come in. So with this now, if I go to CZ, let's um, start this app. I'm just going to go to sign up. All right. So this is the sign up flow, right? So if I hit sign up, it's going to say check your email. We've sent an email, but of course it didn't really send it because Node is going to intercept it because we're on locals. So when we check now, you could see that this is now this one 3 or 4 p.m. Right. So this is really convenient because if you're building a SaaS application, definitely, or any kind of a full stack application, you're definitely going to need mail. And this just makes it really, really convenient for you, right? So you could copy this, you know, or you could click on this. I don't want it to open my default browser, which is Arc. So I'm just copy and put it here. Ah, I've always make that error. which is having a space here. And you could see email verification successful, right? And if you don't want to set up SMTP, right? You just want to display the log to the console. You could do that. We can do that too. So if you just come here and say log, right? And um, I'm going to start the server again and I want to drop the table. I don't want to have that. So if we go back to CZ, CZ, and if I say sign up, and if we sign up now, right, and we check the console, yeah, we have our mail in the console. So mail I said to log, so sales is logging the email. So you get to see the body. And if you just copy your token, you know, very convenient. If you don't want to set up anything, you want to be lazy about it, like me. And we can just paste it in here. And we have our email verification successful. How cool is that? So this is going to support Postmark, SendGrid, because I need SendGrid. So I'm going to add SendGrid support. And um, also Amazon SCS. So all you have to do is when you are, so if, if you're using Amazon SCS, are you already support, are you going to use it via SMTP? I don't know if they support it. I'm not really checking the API. But if you're going to do that, it's already set up for you. All you have to say to set the mailer to SMTP. But if you want to use like the API, you're also going to support that. You just need to specify the transport to be Amazon SCS or something. All right? Is that cool? Tell me what you think, guys. So let me know what you think. So we're going to continue to the homepage. So what we're going to do now is to abstract this. So, so we have to ship a 0.0.1 .0 today, which is going to work as is. So there's going to be no sending support, which I'm going to augment over time to make it better. So what we are going to do is to go to work and we're going to CD out of all this. We're going to create MKDIO sales hook mail. Have I created it before? Okay, good. I already created it before. CD sales hook mail. What's in here? Oh, we have a package of JSON already. So we're going to do code. Cool. So um, I'm going to, so let's look at a, so says who wish, does wish provide, I want the uh, organics. No, no, no. I want paste that. So the thing I want to do is let's go to arc. And I'm going to open sales hook page stack. So this is the one I wrote. We should actually document this in the docs.salescard.com. Really. Ah, let me start the thing. You could go start it with page stack. Fun. Yeah. Recent. Recent. I don't know. Like, I don't want a third. Like, let me check out recent. Recent. I think I've seen it. 
Okay. Yeah, if see that's the cool thing about what we're building, right? It doesn't care. You could have a recent transport for all I care. So if you let's see their pricing. Oh yeah, of course. We could we could add this and let, let me see how it works if they have like an or oh, like no, what? I need to log in. Heck no. Okay. Why not? If it have support so Node.js and Express, let's see the Express thing. A recent new recent. Oh, why the heck not? We can definitely do this. Does it support SMTP? I don't know. Yeah. We oh come on, it has. We've already built the abstraction for this. It doesn't matter. All right, you can. Okay, so if you want to use it via SMTP, you can. If you want to use their API, we can also provide that. It's so easy. So the sales hook mail is just going to be your encompassing. And the cool thing is you can use multiple of these services. And since it's going to be like a sales helper, you can be able to retry and time out the sending of the mail. It's just amazing. And see, Node Miller, we already use Node Miller for this stuff. So it's going to really work already out of the board, out of the box with reset. But let's ship this, okay? Let's ship this today. Yeah. Yes, it's going to. So um, I'll probably make an issue because I'll let, I want to support as much of the services you all use for mail out there. I, I know I use SendGrid. I'm pretty happy with SendGrid. So whatever you use, but for local, even Hello, there's this really cool Laravel, like a, a project that came from the, from the Laravel world called Hello. It's, everybody likes it. I'm probably going to buy it just because I like the folks at Beyond Sale. It's just $49. So well, you, you, you don't need to buy it. You can use Node Mailer for free. But um, I think the interface looks really good. I probably will just buy it because I like the folks from Beyond Code. Shout out to Marcel and the team there. Like them so much. They influenced um, Gopi, by the way. So I'm probably just going to buy it. And since it uses SMTP, that's the cool thing. It's already supported with with um, the SMTP mailer, All right? So if it has its own, let's see, configuration. See, it, it it's SMTP. All right, SMTP. See, you know, not mailer, right? And we support that already. You don't even need a password. Mailbox name. Yeah, I could even get uh, like a sales example in here also, but it's, it's brilliant, SMTP really. So let's um let's do the paste that thing again. Sales will paste that. So this is it. I probably should download it online, but eh, nah, I'm not gonna. Uh so let's look at accessibility. Accessible, what's inaccessible? Dry. Okay, so I'm probably going to just copy some of the code I've written before to make this pretty quickly. Um, so we have a lib. So the idea is to expose the the helper, right? The helper. Where's the helper? Okay, yeah, the paste stack helper. Oh, yeah. So this is. This is the things. So this is all paste stack stuff, but we want to recreate all this with mail. Okay, are you with me? So library content, what's in here? Okay, come go with the baby, with the baby, with the baby, Okay, Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Let's copy, copy and paste here. So where do I start from? I probably should get this locally so that it makes the the ministry easy so you can copy the code and um we're gonna open a new tab see how then we keep clone so you can see clone oh i already have it city sales book is that oh i have it locally good so i can open both post it here Gonna say sales with mail, gonna put it here. Hope you all can still see this screen. So we, we're just gonna replicate it a ton of stuff. Yeah. So what I want to do first things first, let's see the package that you do. I have huh. Probably don't have uh, this created already. 
So what I would do is go back to GitHub. Um, do I have private packages? Okay, good. So we're gonna create a new one. We call it sales hook mail. What is the title of it? Um, I think I give it title. Wait, let's go to Basecamp and go to go to open source and um, mail. So these are the things I need to do before we publish. So we're gonna say the elegant, simple elegant way to send emails, emails and sales app. And I'm gonna go back here, put it there. It's gonna be public today. So we need to add it with me. We're gonna add it from there. We need an MIT license and probably just add a readme so we just copy it and make a change to it uh, we'll create a repository sales mail and two of those styles you know why not yeah so this is good um we're gonna put the docs i'll probably link to the npm when we're ready um yeah so what else so now i need to set this as the remote um, version and this okay, yes, get in it. That's why. So, I get in it, just get in it. Then, get flow in it. So of course, we're gonna do git flow main to build up this. Okay, we get flow. So, we can put in more sales of mail, which is good. Uh, and yet another packet of JSON. What is the packet of JSON right now? Okay, we are going to change all this. But first of all, let's give pool origin main. Let's pull from main so we could have all the thing about chickens put it there. We're good. And uh, let's do ls. Ooh, we have it. But then, what we you need to do now is to let's check what's have in the package adjacent. So we don't have any dependencies, right? Because um you are going to provide a dependency if you want to use it, which is a good thing. So we could have package adjacent, we want to change this to so I'm going to change this when we need to. Let's go back to talk. Mm -hmm. This is literally how I build the stuff, right? So here we are using, so I'm going to do lib sales hook mail, the JS. We're going to create that file in a bit. And uh, we don't have, we don't need any. So I think I wrote this machine pack page stack. Then we need to document this to the docs. I have several packages. I need to also document, which is not cool. Uh, we don't have need the env. We're going to set up prettier to make things easy. And uh, the keywords will be sales, um, send bridge, SMCP, sales, food, no mailer, you know. As, uh, I think I should not. The author is going to be myself. Chanel is going to need to send me a message. You can use this bad boy. And what else? License is good. Don't fall button bugs. Let me see the chats. Hey, Olu, any back to work, man? Sure, sure. Thank you for, for stopping by. Really, I really appreciate you. Go go get that paper, go get that money. Some money. Um, yeah. So what else we're gonna do? This of course this is gonna be sales book mail. And so this one, this bit of code is sales specific. So this tells sales that this is a hook and it will do the hook things, register the hook. 
to just specify his hook through. This is literally how you build a sales hook. You're, you're having a master class on sales hook. And instead of also use sales hook mail, you just say the book is mail. So sales register it like so. And uh, okay, set up link stage. Oh, okay. Um, so probably gonna do that in a bit, but let's say git add git ci show set up package adjacent. Okay, good. Now we would need to create the lead folder, and in here we need to put sales hook mail. Probably could do it in the GM, but I like naming it specifically the way it is. Then we have this private. This private is going to be the not here. It's going to be the the helpers. So right now we have just one helper. Who knows if we're going to have other helpers? But I don't really care about all those. Just want the mail, and here we want to send the JS. Okay, which is mimic what we have here. And here, this content um, is probably going to be. So go to menu view. What we want to do is to take send, send JS the helper itself. Just copy the entire thing. And over here in send, we just paste it here. Okay. Don't worry, we're, we're going to do clean up very soon. Uh, so go to accessible, dry. So we need to copy this one too because it helps in the registering the helpers. So we're going to do accessible, dry. And we need to modify this to, oh, do that. Yeah. Uh, now, let's see, Lodas reduce, is it not the same as, okay, we're using a ton of Lodash stuff in here, wait, package of JSON, ah, so I'm shipping Lodash, mm. this is interesting. I don't think I want to ship the dash, but I probably just going to want it to just work. So I'm going to ship the dash for this one. Then I'm going to remove the dash. One at a time. So I'm going to do it with the I. Save. Let's just install the dash so it's happy. Yeah, good. And um, so here we want this to be mail. And just see. Okay, so next thing, what else do I need from this? Read me. Okay, I'm gonna do the read me in a bit. We are not gonna write tests for this one yet. And accessible, so try and so yeah, the book itself is gonna be the one to register the the helper. This is mostly what we need, right? So we're gonna copy this. So this book primarily is just gonna register the helper. Primarily. I think we have everything we need to ship this. So let's check the parameters. Oh, oh, we don't need this. So library content. Okay, we need this one. And there's a top level. Is it top level? It's on the leap. Okay. Library content. So we're not paystack, we are mail. So the only thing we have is send right now. That's the only method we have on mail. Remove these other methods. So here we need to change the description. What do we call it? Um, provides 
the push to send emails in a sales, sales application. Good. Okay. And um, the cool thing is I can pack this and test it out right now. So this is going to be fun. Um, what else? I think it's good. I feel it's good. What do you think, guys? Did I miss anything? Oh, we're still six weeks in here. You guys are awesome. So the the so let's let's pack this. So we'll do npm pack. So just give us a sales hook one point think of a jig. Um go back to mellow view. And what I want to do now is um we're gonna delete this stuff. So we're gonna delete the mail. I'm gonna delete the index.js. Like both well, what's this? The hook, we delete the hook. Uh delete the hook, delete the helper, since we already have it in there. And what else do we need to delete? I think that's the few things we need to delete. And now we could do um so let me do it to work so I get all the completion in there. So I could do CD, CD, Melo, uh, Warren Stack, Melo View, MPMI, go back a little bit, um, sales of mail, sales of mail, this is what we want to install. I save it. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to sales lift um, for both because I want to see if, okay, great, we broke something. Cool. Can I find module library content? Library content, didn't we add that already? Sales of mail. Wait, hold, hold on. Did we say library contents? Okay. So let's go here. Accessible. And um, so let's see where we're using library. Library contents. Okay. So library content is in the lead. Hold on, the drive. Oh, it's supposed to be in private. My bad. Moving here in private. Hold up a little bit. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's ls. Um, so we have CD. So ls leave private. Give me all. Oh. Private. Okay, this is how we want it to be. My bad, my bad, my bad. So what we can do now is to rectify that. Let's pack it. Then pack again. Up. We install it again. And now we're gonna say sales of the boss. Okay. Okay, this is where pack things. Um, so let's look for the hook. Okay, mail hook loaded successfully. Good. So the, to test this out, we can now um go back to mellow view. So we, should, we, we are at log level here. So if this hook is working, we should be able to do sales leave. Let's drop it again so we get like um, everything up is dropped and now we can go to cc and refresh this bad boy and go to sign up again and okay if we go to our console and we see that it means the hook is working good hook working how easy was that so Next, let's test everything to make sure we didn't break anything. We're going to change this to SMTP. And um, 
going to restart the bad boy. Um, let's get that out. And I'm going to drop it. I don't want the user to be there, so I don't have to do that. And this is going to break actually because I would, I think you, if you've been following along, you would know why. But uh, I know it's going to break. It. So you're just going to change it to sign up. And now if we do this, check your email. Oh. Oh yes, it's not gonna break because I already have node mailer installed. Mm. Wait, let's remove node mailer first. Yeah, I have node mailer already installed for this, but we want it to be a peer dependency. So gonna be npa on install node mailer. Okay, if we install it now, we drop this. It's going to complain that it needs node mailer. So if we do sign up. And we wait. Probably we we may be able to catch this early. Huh. Maybe like when the hook is setting up, we'll like tell it to check for if the config is set to mailer so that your app don't really crash. They will tell you to install node mailer. Maybe we would add that as part of the config. That would be dope. So you can see it, it's something happened. Our app broke. And if we check now. Yeah, node mailer is not installed. Please run install node mailer, which is good. But I think we should, when the hook is setting up, it should fail, telling you to do the same thing we just did. But I think it's okay because you might not be. Hmm, let's see. I think this DX is okay. Um, what do you guys think? Like when you're trying to use the sales hook mail, and you're trying to use SMTP, and you don't have node mailer installed, it should tell you when you try to you know use it right not like a setting of the hook just tell me what you prefer so because that is done we can now do npm i node mailer let's just save yeah i think our hook is good to be published today 0.0.1 and um this this is this is fun so um let's see so what do we need to do? So let's write a readme. Simple elegant way to do it. Let me see how 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 did I write the readme for this bad boy? Readme to get started. Okay. Says so mail to get started. Sales book mail. So I, I need to think about this one a little bit. So usage. Um, so sales. Mail supports a couple of mailers, including um, log. So let's start with SMTP. Most people want to use this log. So for now we support log and this. So when when we add the rest, it will it will follow suit. So um to use to use mail with SMTP create a config that mail the JS file. Create a configure.js file, specify your default mailer as well as the mailers you'd like to support in your sales application. Like so. So, by default, we'll have them. Um, so, let's check. I will do it in mellow view mail. I don't want all the comments, so we're not going to put all those comments in there. Let me just copy everything now. So the cool thing is, if you're using the Bone JavaScript stack, you don't need to do all the setup because it's just going to come right out of the box for you. So there's that. So I'm going to come with all the instructions and everything. 
So this, you don't have to write this by hand ever if you're using the Boolean journal six stack, by the way. Uh, so let's see. So here you provide all this. You, you probably don't even need to pull all this, right? So this is like, literally this is, this is all you need, right? So the only reason why we have that is because we are actually making it more robust. But by, by convention, you don't really need this. So you can just specify log here. Okay. So let's read this. Um, donate this to. Yeah, so by default, this is all you need, right? This is all you need because sales is going to check those. So this is literally the simplest one. And then, so use the law of mailer. I want to set the default mailer. Set the default of a fake slash mail.js. So log and make sure you have a log mailer under the mailer's object. And do this the log. Sales will log your email to the console. And um, so probably here is going to be mailers. Then the usage is going to be, um, so this will be the usage. So let's go to sign up. I don't know, sign up auth. And this is where we're sending the mail. So for example, just get this. Subjects. Okay, yeah, we can use this to make it a little more grand. So let's say user dot email, assuming that you already have that. To go on full name. Yeah, just assuming you already have those already. So we're just assuming a reward use case here. All right. Your action. So mailers, so we talk about, so since we talk about log first, we can do this, okay. Then SNTP, writing docs is always interesting, right? But it's really, it, 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 it takes more time. Like this doc I'm writing right now, I'm definitely gonna override it in a bit. Okay, good, I am. So if it's required for SMTP to work, I think it's good for DX. Yes, you should rewatch it. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, so we actually, so we actually notify you right the first time you try to use. So if you install the hook, and of course it's going to still be in the docs right to install node mailer. But in case you forget, you just install the hook and you set your default mailer to SMTP. Or even when you are calling send, you, you specify the mailer to be SMTP. The first time you use it, we're going to fail. We're going to show you five hundred and tell you that oh, you're trying to use SMTP as the mailer. But you don't have node mailer installed. Install node mailer. That's going to be the DX. So to use SMTP as SMTP as a mailer, set it as the default. As the default in a big mail.js. Like this is just a quick readme. The, the docs will be more robust than this, but I'm just crunching it so that we'll ship 0.0.1. We're going to overhaul the docs, also the readme, and um going to write robust docs as usual. Okay. So to and also install the pair dependency node mailer. So we're going to run npm 
MPMI, node mail, save. Okay, good. And what else? Then in your local, your config local, which is, you can provide the SNCP credentials. Like so. So this will be JS config local the JS will be SMTP. Then you need the host host. Um, but what what was the host encryption encryption TLS for example? Uh, then the username username. Username and password, password, like so. Oh, okay, that's it. That's what you did for SMTP. Um, yeah, did I miss anything? So good, we are good to go on this note. So now, we will get SC, get R. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to put dot hits, ignore. And we're going to ignore nodes, modules. We don't want to start that bad boy. So git st again. Good. So git r. I'm going to just do this. I'm not going to set up anything. Just do the bare minimum. Come in this. Uh, um, um, fix, implement, sales group, mail. As in installing one. Okay. Good stuff. Now we push this bad boy. And let's good stuff. So now let's um create a new so git flow release start 0.0.1. And we're gonna go package adjacent one. We're gonna change this to O. Change this to one. Okay, it's looking good. I like it. All right, cool. Then we could say git st, git r, git ci. This is show. Bump. Um. From version. Git flow release docs. Finish rather. Oh, we have a conflict. What conflicts? Yes, let's see. Really? Huh. Okay, I think I know what to do. Kids with base. What do we kids? Kids assemble. Kids with base develop. The build. The kids steal. If we finish your result of one, good. Um, implement mail as implemented. Mail as an um, installable sales form. Good stuff. Okay, push this. Same, then we can push this with the tag. This is my git alias doing the things. And now we could do npm publish. We're gonna open up the browser. We're gonna need to do wait, probably need to switch off screen for this one. Okay, I did not need to do that first alarm, guys. So I'm gonna put in the OTP, and if we go back here. Yes, sales hook mail is published. It is live on MPM, guys. So we this is good for perfect. Yeah. All right. Then um, so now we could go to mellow. Mellow. Let's go to package adjacent. You know, we have it being tested as a local dependency. Yeah, this thing of a chick. So what we can do is to do MPM. I sales book mail. 
Probably should have put save, but let's see if it replaces it. Okay, okay. Well, npm on your store, sales book mail, that's for save, so that removes it. And npm i, sales book mail, that's for save, says so add it in. And we have good name of the storage, money testing for signing tick share again. Let's go back to work. So let's drop the bad boy. And if we go back here, we will refresh the bad boy. Sign up is all good. Let's check node mailer if we have a message. We do have it in here. Good. Web business is installed. And we could go to npm. So if we do arc, okay, yeah. And if we go to npm sales hook mail. Oh, no, no, not this one. So we already have like sales hook emails from eight years ago. What we want is sales hook mail. Yes, two minutes ago, we have, yeah. How did I do for like what? We, we ship this in 20 minutes. Is it? What is this? NPM be tripping. I tried that. <laughs> 7 to 4, NPM be tripping. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it does what file? Well, let, let's go grok for paystack. Let's grok for paystack. So it's a mail. Of course, there's going to be some run, run away thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have paystack some places. Yes. So we're going to, of course, this will make us ship a new version. So what I'm going to do is the kit um, flow hotfix start. So this is how I ship hotfixes. So this is a hotfix so 0 0.0.2. And now we're going to remove all the paste stack things. So to mail, right? And we still have one more paste stack reference, which is here. That's what happens when you copy and paste sometimes. <laughs> mail as part of that OK, good. Um, so now we could do. See have a ton to do really. So we do fix move p stack references. And now we could oh then also we're gonna change this, pump the release to our two and show pump version. And now we could do git flow hot fix finish and two. Remove paste tag references. Okay, good. Now we could push this. SM gets TFT, push this one too. And now we could do and can publish again. And the bear. You know, publish the NPM. Good stuff. And get SD. So that should remove all the things. So go back to Melo. I could do PMI sales mail at latest dash dash C. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you all for catching that. All right. So, yeah. yeah. So we. I think we've covered everything we want to cover today. Um, so we walk through sales, we we'll clean up and publish. Okay, we've published. Yeah, so we, we've published it. So you all could go use it to start the repo. Show it some love by starting the repo. Um, did I not put the repo link? Yeah, I have to do that. GitHub. Um, sales guys, the boy stack says book mail. Okay, 
and um, yeah, here we go star the repo. Okay, so I'm expecting seven stars. So here, go star it, give it some love, and yeah, we're good. We we are really good. I put um tag releases. This was the old one. So then be zero point zero point one. Yeah. Yeah, I could tag with the release. I just like tagging this, make it um so, so, so since there was no issue or commit, so um, this I really love this button, especially when we have a lot of PROs and issues. You're just gonna give all the credits really, really well. So it has the latest release. Yeah, good, that's all done. So go give it some love. Uh we are wrapping up. This has been fun. We've been like 19 minutes more here. Um, please go start me. Okay, give some love. Give it some love, everyone. Give it go to GitHub. I want to see six or seven stars. You all amazing. Um, lastly, we're gonna talk about this. So I saw this. So yes, you all have commented and we tweeted this tweet. Please join the sales guys community if you've done. Yes, yes, smash that button. Thank you, ladies. You're amazing. So join the sales guys community. We do JavaScript. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do JavaScript things in the chat to join it and um, also go start the growing JavaScript stack. We are so close to what? Um, boring. How many stars do we have right now? I don't know. Let me check that. So, yeah, we are so close to 1800 stars. We are at 165. This is amazing. Share it, store it, you know. Show it some love. So lastly, we're going to talk about just building. So make sure you've joined and also subscribe and follow on YouTube and on Twitch. It's really amazing. It helps us grow some more and start the borrowing stack repo. So finally, is this tweet supporting? Well, what happened? What happened? Okay, this tweet supporting. Built-in .env support for Node.js. This would be amazing because even right now in sales, the reason why I like using local.js is because by default, on localhost, right, to use .env, you need like an, an extra hook. It's something I've been thinking maybe we should work on for sales. But since this is going to come to sales, ah, interesting. Oh. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. I need to say this. Okay. Yeah, it's not cross platform, the source. Yes, that's it. So, if this lands in Node, that means you could just use your .env file without any dependency. You need to goodbye .env package. Just like the same way we said goodbye to Node Mon, right? Because um, Node now supports the watch flag. So, let me know if you are excited about this. I'm really excited, looking forward to it and using it. So it's going to be fun when that happens. So yes, we did all the tasks, y'all. We are done. We are here almost like two hours now. That has been really, really fun. Hope you all had a good time, right? So I'm going to clean up the sales loop mail package some more, add some more supports. Support some support send grid because I need it for salesguard.com. Then I migrate salesguard.com to use sales hook mail. All right. And um, still keep on working on the board JavaScript stack. A ton of work has been going on on the menu view template. You can't even imagine. So I've successfully made like the happy path to the sign up flow, emails, and all. Like emails could be a pain. I actually agree. It's when I started working on sales hook mail package, that was when I started like, okay, using like, a local mail server to catch my mail. Before I use SendGrid, I just send like a test mail to myself, which is very draconian and so old. But with this, you could use, so this actually right now, wait, what is the name of, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think it works with a package. Ah. Wait, is it Postmark? Probably Postmark, wait. Postmark. I'm not sure it's Postmark. There's this other popular mail provider that it was recommended on Twitter. I supported it. 
Hold up, guys. I'm tripping. Okay, let me let, let me go check. I think I have it in mail. Yes, mail trap. So we support mail trap out of the box already with SMTP. So, but not with your API. So we're going to also implement that um, you could have like a mail trap use their API instead. So if you don't like SMTP, you want to use mail trap API, you could do that too. So so what mail trap today just provide your post, your port, encryption, and username and password. You don't even need to put um, pass the encryption because we are already having that set up for you as a default to TLS. Okay. So cool stuff. Good. Based in completing your tasks. Okay. So yeah, we're done. We are done. We are done. Any questions for today? Anything you want us to talk about before we, we, we call it? Yeah, I had an amazing time, really. Um, there were no too much bug to ship the 0 0.0.1 version of um, Facebook Mail. And I need to work on the docs now to make sure the docs is ready before we announce it. So support a ton. So like you could see, um, if we go to mail, see all this. So if you went mail trap mailer, so we already have SMTP mailer. We'll, we need the mail trap mailer, which is going to use the mail trap API. Implement send with mailer, implement Amazon SES, postmark, mail gun, mail jet, sending blue, mandrill, the document is going to come release. So we already released this one. So switch the board access that use the package. We've done this. So this guys are going to use packages to do right readme. Korea is going to help us with making the readme all nice, add contributing guide. Then we can call it a little bit stable. So I don't know when we're going to get to 1.0, but at this stage it's usable. You can see it, right? But if there are any bugs, let us know. Any suggestion, we have issues there. Yeah, so we have it done. Okay, so we are going to call it for today. This has been fun. See you all next week. Thank you all for hanging out till this time. It was really fun. So thank you, Lenny. Thank you, Inyo Lua, the Inca, for coming. Everyone else that were here, thank you. So see you. Yeah, thank you, Colin. Nice explanation. Yeah, I try. So yeah, see you next week. Bye, everyone.